What's up boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. On the last episode we we had our welcoming back party from our friends. And uh, we did some sto sub story stuff with Vegeta. But now I think we're back on the main I really want to get back to my training. I'm not sure. We would st still be on the intermission stuff, but uh, don't call don't go quote me on that. Let's go to Master Master Rochi's place. Get this party going. There's a there's a Dragon Ball here somewhere, but I'm not gonna go through the the painstakingly painstakingly task of collecting all of them again just to get more money or well, something. Better get going, I guess. All right, not too much longer now. I wonder how Master Roshi and everyone are doing. Sup, peeps? What are sup, people? Ah, there you are, Goku. Would you mind listening to what Launch has to say? Sure, yeah, go ahead. Launch! It's been a while. Someone forget about you? What's up? <laughs> that was harsh. What's up? I'll tell you what's up. Tien, all three eyes, is back in the promised land. Uh, yeah. Something wrong? Being that he cheated death and all, I thought a visit was in order. Then why don't you just go? I did, but he wasn't home. I've been by time and time again with no luck. Apparently, the oaf's out traveling the world, training. I ain't got the foggiest idea where he could be. That makes two of us. I don't know either. Ah, don't give me that. You can fly. Find him for me. Come on, I'm begging you. Mm, what? You can sense energy, you dolt. Zeroing in on him should be a piece of cake. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Sorry to blank out on you there, Master Roshi. Let's see now. Hmm. Tien... Tien. Got right, him. Got him. Hey, he's near my house. What the fuck? GG? <laughs> what? You found him? Already? Yep. If that's all, I'll be on my merry... You idiot! I'm not ready yet. I wasn't expecting you to find him so fast. Seeing him requires, you know, preparation. Why don't you try to keep him busy till I'm done? Got it? I'll be quick. What are you gonna do? Done with what? Are you gonna... Well, on makeup or you try to be nice to people yeah even shorter dress somehow or some clothes what are you going to do oh oh she's gonna paint her hair I think blue or something her other personality is coming gonna come out let me get this D medal here oh no it's a, a gift okay right now we need to head towards the southeast mountains area on the world map okay Oh, I don't really like these uh, missions where we have to go to a place and then back and then to another place and then back, like just to talk to, just to talk to this guy or that guy. Man, that's that's lazy gameplay. That's lazy gameplay, guy. God damn it! Uh, let's see. All right, somewhere. No, it's not near my house, though. All the way up here in the mountains. Not sure what the fuck he's doing, but probably best to deal with this now. We got some uh, dragon meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh fuck! I, sh I shouldn't have stopped. Yeah, yeah. Right there. Yeah. Here go. Ah! Stop eating on me! Another one bites the dust. Dodge that perfectly. Alright, sweet. What was I trying to do? Yeah, gather up some uh, dragon meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, some fangs. Okay, never mind that. Yeah. Might cause some trouble, Lee. Best to deal with this now. Oh, Tien, someone's All looking right. for you. Oh, come Let's on, shit. Just be a 
Sie gar Platz. Oh, it's too far away. Have this, motherfucker. Died straight away. God damn, this attack is powerful. Shit. Boom, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> Alright, Tien, as I was saying, someone's looking for you, and they're very excited. What's the matter? Did you want something? I just need to see Tien. Yeah, stop butting in, Chiaotu. God damn it. Goku, a rare pleasure. So, someone asked me to find you, and... Let's just say she really, really, really wants to see you. That's so. I'm actually done training here, but it looks like I'll be on the move again soon. Seriously? That's a bummer. Can't you wait a little longer? Well... Perhaps we can strike a deal. Oh, he wants to fight me or something. How's this sound? Yep. Let me test the results of my training on you. Is that all? Shoot, I'd do that for free. <laughs> it's been far too long since we went toe to toe. Here I come. Let's go. I was weak, but I don't know. Gotta try harder. Super Saiyan Moves. Nice try beam, dude. My mind's stronger. Oh, I just uh, I just realized how the uh, the Super Saiyan works. So it takes the it takes my key. Off. As, as I fight, as I use uh, abilities uh, and attacks, it takes my key away. Okay, that's interesting to know. Ooh, broke! Follow up! Damn! Consecutive! Hey, he's done. Nice. Level 41. <sighs> you never cease to amaze me. Likewise, Tien. You've gotten a lot stronger. Apparently not strong enough. But learning that is a milestone in itself. As promised, I'll wait for this mystery guest. Through my sparring with you, I discovered a few things I need to improve. I think I'll train here for a little while longer. Do you mind? Go for it, Tien! Thanks. By the way... Who is it that wants to meet me? Oh, crap! I left that part out. It's launch. Uh, oh, it's oh, not ready either. You have no idea how much that makes me want to get back to training. <laughs> but a promise is a promise. Tell her she can find me here. You bet! Oh, now I have to go back and tell her? Oh, uh, don't tell me. Oh, god damn it. Alright. <laughs> Let's go back to Kame's house and find launch and tell oh, where am I fucking I'm the savior of the universe. I have to be going around giving messages to two lovebirds. God like some high school some uh high schooler. Can I train anything new? Just this uh, ooh, oh guided Kamehameha, yeah, we've seen that. I don't I don't really want to do. I can hit my Kamehameha's just fine. Hey! I'm so glad you're back! Well, did you find Tien? Sure did. Listen up. So, just go to the place I told you about and he'll be there waiting. Ah, uh, reunited at last. This has been a long time in the making. Thanks! Here, this is for you. Uh, thanks for the meat and rice, I, I guess. I picked some grub to take with me, but went a little overboard. You can have the leftovers. Thanks! 
You know me, I'd never turn down food. Hold on to your hat, Tien. I'm coming for you. Oh shit. Uh, so we did all of that for just some meat? Are you serious? I mean, we did get the level up from fighting Tien, but... Meanwhile, Vegeta's special training was reaching fever pitch. If I can push myself just a little bit more, I should be able to turn into a Super Saiyan. I see you're hard at work as always, Vegeta. What do you want? I've made some slight modifications to the training room. Would you like to see what I came up with? Oh? Go on then. Show me what you've done. I knew you'd be interested. Come with me. Slave. She's a new researcher I've hired to help me work on the training room upgrade. Be nice to her, Vegeta. It's a pleasure to meet you. Fine. Allow me to explain the new feature to you. Training room is where you can train, acquire mastery, which is a special type of know-how that provides powerful effects. To acquire mastery, you must complete challenges. As you modify the training room, more challenges, challenges will be, become available, meaning you can acquire more mastery. Interesting. I might have to give this thing a try now. You will now have access to the training room. Okay, so what can we train here? Unbridled power acquired. 20% damage dealt, but you slowly lose HP over the course of battle. Ah. Okay. Uh, shall we get that? It's a modifier for Vegeta. It's like it's like Kaioken. We slowly. This is things like man, I can't. I'm not gonna be able to win this. Fuck! Look at this, man. How am I going to win this? Look how much damage they do. There's three of them. Man, Vegeta is so fucking weak. Stop defending! Ah, oh, there's no way, man. There's no way. Ah, uh, quit training, fuck you. There's no way I can win this. What level am I? Honestly. Just modify. Uh, I need some refined iron. Like, I'm level 36. Okay, it says recommended we level 40. Room for right. a few more upgrades, but we're a little short on power. If you find any large sources of energy, give them to my fellow researcher here, and she should be able to make the necessary improvements. Got it. Okay. Uh, we need a couple more level up before we can. Uh actually do some training. Goku and Bulma continue their search for the Dragon Balls. The two, of, the two are able to get the decisive shapeshifter Oolog to join them, but he proves to be a flight risk. In order to entice him to stay, Bulma offers him some candy, which Oolong is more than happy to taste. It is actually a special candy of Bulma's creation. Uttering the word piggy causes the ingester to experience an instant bowel movement. Bulma takes advantage of the effect, which lasts a month, to prevent Oolong from even thinking of running away. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's talk to uh, Dr. Briefs here to continue on th with the story. How's your training going? Yeah, it's going shit. It's going very badly. Very Mind your own business. Or that. Well, don't overdo it. Though I'm sure someone as tough as you will be just fine. You've got that right. That should put Bulma's mind at ease then. Whoops, you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> Just you wait, Kakarot. It won't be long until you're struggling to keep up with me. Right now it feels like the other way around. Meanwhile, Goku is ever so powerful. 
With all of his other tasks out of the way, Goku was finally able to begin his training. I don't really know what level is Goku at, but man, he feels a lot stronger than uh, Vegeta. That took longer than I thought it would. I'd better hurry back to Piccolo and Gohan. Uh, let me see. Hello. I'm sorry to call you out of the booth like this, but there's something I'd like to discuss with you. Would you be able to make it your way to the training room at Capsule Corporation? Goodbye. See you soon. If there's something, there's something the researcher wants to tell you, go to the near. Uh, oh man, I bet everyone's stronger yeah, now that I'm, I'm level 41. Obviously, I'm way stronger than Vegeta. All right, let's go. Let's go to the. Uh, Preserves wastelands. Uh, wait, was it here that I had to go? Or do I just go to the training? Uh, wait. Oh man, I bet everyone's stronger now that they've been training. Uh, go tell Piccolo you finish your training. Uh, one second. Before I do that, I'm gonna go to Capsule Corporation and uh, go to the training room just to see what the uh, female researcher was talking about she doesn't even have a name <laughs> I guess because she's not a canon character she doesn't get a name uh, where is the training room? I have no idea what to expect with these androids <laughs> we got a keeper found some tasty looking food where... oh here it is what's up? Hello. I'm glad you could make it. Um... Bulma instructed me to show you rather intriguing data we've come across. It was actually collected from a small spacecraft that was used to escape from Planet Namek. Capsule Corporation obtained the craft and found a peculiar chip in its onboard computer. We analyzed the chip and found data on the craft's original owners, the Ginyu Force. However, there were also records of a mysterious individual on the chip. Yes. According to Bulma's friends, the Ginyu Force had five members. A name we discovered on the ship did not match any of the five of the names of the five members of the force. That name is Bonyu, and belongs to a female warrior from an extraterrestrial planet. We continue to dig deeper. Just the other day, we were able to successfully extract data on her appearance, voice, and combat abilities. It's unclear just how strong she was as a warrior, though. <laughs> That's why Bulma had me research reach out to you. She figured you would be interested in fight, helping us finding Indeed. that out. For new data has already been input into the training training room computer, so you can fight her anytime you'd like. Please keep in mind the data is not complete, so there are still some things missing from our simulation. The more you fight her, though, the closer we can get to completing the, our analysis. Greatly appreciate your assistance in this matter. Yeah, sweet. All right, so we got a new uh, challenger we can fight. Can I? How do I access the training menu? I need to train up again. So. Are you Just ready to, to begin your training? Alright, so we have modifiers. Okay, that's the same thing. We can train the same thing as Vegeta's unbridled force, or we can do special training. Has been added to the training room. You can select this option to fight the mysterious warrior Bonnie. If you defeat her, you'll unlock additional training exercises that are even harder. Toughen up your characters, okay. The recommended level, level 40. Alright, we should be able to defeat her. Let's go. I can tell this is going to be an easy victory for me. Wow, those balls. Come on and fight me. Ah, uh, what's that? You're still alive. Holy shit. No one can help me. Hold up. Disappear. Uh, These dum dums never learn. Yeah. 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 Y
the spirit bomb, do it! It's time to end this! Oh yeah. God damn it. No one stop me now. Oh god. Uh, Fucking hell, she hits hard. I'm still got more in. I'm not down for the count yet. You dum dums never win. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go Super Saiyan in the after this shit. Oh. Are you done? Super Saiyan, let's go! She is done for. Pretty good. I'll give you that. Oh, we have an A. Shit. And the sensor beans are now ready at Corrin's well Tower. Done. Looks like you've completed the training exercise. You're welcome to try it again as many times as you'd like. Alright, sweet. Oh, we have the Soul Emblem as well. She's level 22 on the... Oh, we can fight her again. Okay. But that's uh, what recommended level. 75. Okay, never mind that. Uh, let me put her character on the community board here. Uh, adult community, she had like level 22. Let me put her on. There we are. Is there any bonuses she has? Check. Uh, oh, the Ginyu Force and the form. Okay. So l let's just leave her there for now. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to Corrin Tower real quick. Can I? Yeah. Uh, Corrin Tower. Da -da -da. We go so we can collect the senzu beans. I'm sure they'll come in handy in uh, a battle or two. Welcome back, the senzu beans are ready. Use them wisely. Cool, there's just one. Uh, let me see. Covers HP by 100%. Oh, that's perfect. 10%. Oh, ultimate fruit juice. That's what I had. Okay. Can I... Okay. So let's put this here. Put the sensor bean here. And the ultimate fruit juice. Perfect. Alright. Also have a couple of gifts I can uh, dish out to the community. Let me just check. So on the last episodes, I think I got Bo uh, Goku onto level um, 3 there. Adult proficiency. I only have one gift. Give it to Master Rochi. Desperately needs some gifts. Oh, he's almost at max. Cool. Right, uh, let's carry on with the story then. Let's go tell Piccolo we finished our training. And I have no idea how to get Vegeta more strong. Stronger, sorry, not more strong. Uh, <laughs> Desperately needs it. What's up, Pix? What up? I have no idea what to expect. You're late. What have you been doing? Sorry. Ran into a few hitches, but I did manage to get in a good bit of training, though. I got to fight against Tien. <laughs> I figured as much. Luckily for us, we took the liberty of starting without you. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, okay. How's the training coming along, Goku? Uh, we should be good to go. Are you sure you want to continue the story? You won't be able to collect the dragon. Yeah, that's done so much to prepare. Guess we're about to find out whether our training is sufficient enough to handle these androids. Right. Oh, they got to they got to come in sooner, I think. I think this is about the end of the 3-year period. We got that little warning fee, absolutely sure we wanted to continue with the story. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. 
All right, you three be careful out there. You sure you don't want to take some lunch? No, we're good, Mom. Thanks. Sorry, Chi-Chi. All right, we're off. Uh, it's probably nothing. Oh shit, what was that? Nice, we had a couple of S's. D felt it like a, a heart murmur or something. Super... a bunch of, a bunch of gifts. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother reading all of them. I wonder if we get to play with future trunks again. I hope so. Hey Goku, tell me the truth. These androids, do you think we have a chance against these guys? I honestly can't tell you if we do. I won't know until we actually fight them. Yeah, good point. Go on, take it easy, okay? Don't worry, we've got plenty of time. Don't use up all that power of yours before the fight even starts. Sorry. Let's go, boys. Pick it up. Oops. Piccolo, 37, 36. Okay, so everyone's basically on the same sort of level. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. It's not, it's not just miles. Vegeta. Southwest of South City. There it is. There's the island. It isn't that I don't think we're capable. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> just can't seem to shake this terrible feeling. And so, the warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned. Bulma, who was eager to see the androids for herself, greeted them. But she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks. The child she had with Vegeta. All except Goku were surprised to see the child. However, the impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Then, as Goku and the others stood ready, flames suddenly began to break out in the city. Uh oh, they're here. Uh, uh, what? What's going on? An explosion in the city. Is it the androids? Could be, but there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. Th that's it. They're androids, which means we can't sense their energy. Y you're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out. And we're just gonna have to hunt them down. All right, guys, split up. If you spot them, let the rest of us know. Got it? Gohan, you go help the people who were caught up in that explosion, okay? Okay. Here we go. The androids attack. Let's go. All right, so I just have to find them. Okay. Yep. Yep. Here's one. I never imagined we wouldn't be able to track their energy. No, that was Dan. <laughs> Talk about a pain. Tian Shen Han. Sorry, but I haven't found the androids. Same here. There's got to be some place we haven't thought to look. Why? Well, why are they hiding though? Yeah. <laughs> Trillin, how are things going with you? Not so good, Goku. No androids over here. Gotcha. If you find one of them, let us know, okay? So they came, they exploded me, stuff, and now they're uh, hiding like already. rats. Anything, Piccolo? Nothing at all. There's no trace of them anywhere. All right, be on your guard. Whoa, I just felt a huge drop in someone's energy. It's Yamcha. Oh, Yamcha's fighting them? Yeah. Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. 
Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? If you want us to talk, then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. He's got the same hairdo as the other Australian guy. <laughs> we will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. Maybe they're related to something. How do you know Goku's name? Oh. We know all of you. You are Piccolo. And you are Tien, yes? Ah, oh, you've done your homework, eh? We can talk about this later. Let's go! And now they just stay here and murder everyone else. Yeah, bastards. <clears throat> Where shall we go, guys? Anyone's got an idea? Oh. Oh, we're going to another part of the world. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the far south been unlocked, so P Papaya Town. Okay. Oh, this is where we just were. Okay, never mind. I no, I think. I don't know, actually, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume it was. And stand corrected. Someone. Correct. Alright, lead the androids to a more suitable space. the androids know about Goku. He's the one who took down the Red Ribbon Army, after all. But they know about all of us as well. Can I take this machine down here, Freezes? Are you coming? Are you serious? Oh, fuck that. Right. right, let's just continue on with the story. Easily. That's far enough, Goku. This ends now. We will fight right here. You have lost your right to choose the location. Yeah, this is exactly the location I chose them. So, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you, Goku. I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army, so that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Only Dr. Giro remained. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giro himself. Oh? Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giro is no longer among the living. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Huh? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. Oh, good, good. So you don't know about the Super Saiyan stuff? You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. I see. Impressive, but no cause for concern. Android 19 here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? Bring it, Android 19. To you and me, Pally. You're looking a bit well, pale. What do you say? See what he's got. Yeah, ah, this motherfucker. If I just keep upping my key, there's no... There will be no end to the Super Saiyan.
Fucking hell. How, ma how many attacks does this guy have? There we go, my turn. Come on, dude. Oh shit! Alright. Dodge that effort. God damn! Fucking hell, dude. Just let me attack! Trying to rush the fight. He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Uh oh. He he absorbed the attack. Goku, don't fire any energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. Absorb the attacks. Give me a break. What? What's going on? Goku doesn't look so good. Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? What the fuck, Goku? I don't believe it. He seemed perfectly fine when he was training alongside me and Gohan. Damn. Of all the times for Goku to get sick, why did it have to be now? Why didn't he take the pills? Man, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Observing his power. Here we go, Vegeta. If anyone's going to defeat Kakarot, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Vegeta! I felt an incredible energy over there earlier, but it's pretty weak now. Maybe the fight's over. Go on! Krillin! Yamcha! What's going on? One of the androids did me in, but Krillin here saved me with the Sensu Bean. I've got more Sensu Beans here. We need to meet up with the others and fast. Over there! Dad? Goku! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No! Somebody needs to get him out of here. And give him that heart medicine right away! I'll take him! I hate to admit it, but I'm probably not going to be much help here anymore. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta! Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. You two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Oh, you need more than calculations to understand us Saiyans. So tell me, are androids capable of experiencing fear? Oh, nice. He's Super Saiyan as well. Vegeta's a... Super Saiyan? I've 
yearned for nothing more than greater power and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! Let's go! That might be oppressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Yeah. <laughs>